And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spider aggro to kick off our aggro Thursday. Uh, we're going to be playing lots of aggro decks today. Um, playing some faster games after <laughs> those marathon games last night. Uh, so we're going to start with this one. This one was really impressive whenever we played it the other day. We went 4-1 and one with it and it looked strong. I remember I really liked Imperial Demolitionist and we talked about maybe wanting to put a third copy of this card in here. But I'm not exactly sure where to put it in. We talked about maybe putting it in over the third at Doom Beast as um, it's just a little cheaper and also kind of doing two, two Nexus damage like Doom Beast is. I'm going to keep it as is, the list as is, since we did well with it before. But that's something that we're going to be thinking about. Um, if we're going to be changing on the two mana slot, maybe Arachnoid Horror. But I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of Arachnoid Horror. So those are some things to, to think about. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be going with like some fearsome attackers, you know, playing a bunch of spiders, and then finishing it up with the Nexus damage. Demolitionist, Grenadier, Unspeakable Horror, um, Doom Beast, and then Noxion Fervor and Decimate. So a lot of Nexus damage in here to pair with these uh, spiders and fearsome attackers. All right, so let's get to the games. We're going to go play five games in ranked. See how we do today. So we're starting at 27 LP. We've gone back down the ladder some, but let's see if we can fly back up with these very fast decks. So Twisted Sejuani. I like that. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. Let's keep it. Gonna wait on this onlooker. I guess I so I am going wide, especially with them having like the omen hawk. Definitely don't really want to play the onlooker into the omen hawk. We are going wide with a bunch of smaller units, which uh, could be problematic against Twisted Fate red card. There's plenty of killing left. Monkey Idol. That's a pretty good one. Ooh. Oh man, we could get a bunch of skitters. Kind of feel like this is like an Elise level up turn. That's what I'm gonna do. Deal me in. Who says I don't share? That could have gone better. I pull the strings. <laughs> could have gone better. Definitely hoping Elise levels up. What? I guess they're just worried about Vile Feast of going with Omen Hawk. Yeah, just worried about Vile Feast. So it looks like they got this game. Good hand on their part. GG's. Twisted Fate was great. Not yet, Big Alfredo. I'll burn for the I've done. <laughs> What's that you got there? All right, GG's. This is kind of bad. 
Bilgewater with Shadow Isles. Uh, it's usually designed to, to beat aggro. Like, this should just be a deck with a bunch of Powder Kegs and Withering Whales and all that kind of stuff. This looks like our worst possible matchup. Um, and then, yeah, then they have Twisted Fate. Yeah, this is our worst possible matchup, so... Not good. So we're going to have Saboteur on one, Legion Grenadier on two. What are we even looking for? I'll try these, but... I have my orders. Yeah, this is a horrible matchup. Damn it! I mean, if I just play another thing, they're just gonna die to to make it rain. Who's gonna get in my way? got some demolitionists neither of these seem like the best options I guess it's gonna be precious pet explosives primed So the problem with playing everything out before attackers is Twisted Fate. <clears throat> with Twisted Fate red card. With that being a thing. And they're also still just have like Withering Whale, all that kind of stuff. This is just going to be tough, but we're going to try. We got him down to 17. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. Okay, not great. For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. Game's just not close. Nothing like a stink of blood and sweat. Get to work. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. I'm hoping that if they have something that does like, yeah, like a red, yeah, it's hoping they were going to do red card after I play the saboteur. That's the worst matchup of all time. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely an anti burn deck, but specifically an anti like that's specifically an anti small unit deck. Uh, this one is also. Man, this is just miserable. <laughs> We're just gonna get destroyed by Twisted Fate every single game. Oh man. I guess that's just how it's gonna be. Hey, Mulligan, those look looking for a one mana card, not getting it. 
Stalking Shadows has potential for a long game, I suppose. Did we just not play against any Twisted Fate the last time we played this deck? I like how Arachnoid Horror doesn't have one health. Best thing I like about it right now. Be nothing left when I'm done. I know what lurks in the shadows. That turns on my nightfall for unspeakable horror taking out this powder keg. Powder kegs have been quite rough. I know this isn't a good trade, but neither is just taking a lot more damage against the Bilgewater Noxus deck, not getting that thing out of here, them just easily killing my 3-2 with other stuff. I know it's not a good trade, but it's not like... Have great options. Okay, great. So they're just gonna twist it fate. In position behind you. Want me to play more things than twist it fate red card. My bunt, my rules. Or not, maybe it's Jack. Yeah, they probably had Twisted Fate also, so whichever way I go, they would have something good against me. Probably true. I like the Doom Beast here. So I was hoping the Stalking Shadows would get more Doom Beasts for me. Fighting's a bloody business. Fuses lit. Trying to make us not be so dead to, to Twisted Fate. chance this game. They took all that, they're at seven. We definitely have a chance this game. So seven mana. Okay, so let's see, let's go. Okay, no, we're, we're going to play Decimate. Yeah, that'll put him down to one, and then I have Unspeakable Horror. I was thinking that, you know, they'd kill the Grenadier in response to the Demolitionist, but they did not. So we should be good. I don't believe they have any Nexus healing. So there we go. Looks like we're going to get a game. So I don't know. I was thinking about like, should we play the, should we just do this, then play the Decimate first? But nah, we'll just play it. 
All right, let's let's go with a Lee Sin deck. Lee Sin, yeah. Because I think our deck's gonna be really good against Lee Sin. So let's see how this matchup goes. I think that we should be pretty favored. Now we're gonna mulligan those two. I would prefer a different one mana spell. Okay, like I would have preferred to play Legion Saboteur or Precious Pet here on turn one, but I'm still gonna be playing the Onlooker on turn one with us having the attack token. Um, we have another draw step, though. Maybe we'll draw one of those other cards. Attack! I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Come closer. All right, so if they played, if they played like the three two that created a gem, I would have played Arachnoid Horror. So they have Pill Cascade. I guess the main question would be, so yeah, Pill. I guess Pill Cascade's a problem. Main question is, you know, like if we would have wanted to try to block with Onlooker. So this forces them to have another cheap unit to go along with the Bell Cascade. Which isn't, you know, which isn't a given. Good job, Sentry. Alright, down to ten. try to level up Elise. I guess we just try to level up Elise. Yeah, I guess we just level up Elise. I think this is our best best plan. They're just getting a 3-2 blocker. Which I could replace one of these things with an Arachnoid Horror. I don't know, just attacks for one additional point of damage. Yeah, we just took a look at the new Targon cards. They look pretty strong. Uh, ooh, down to four. It's not that much life. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Alright, what's Stalking Shadow is going to bring us? Doom Beast? Doom Beast. Awesome. So, Doom Beast plus Demolitionist should end this game. Reporting for duty. Noxians ruin what they cannot understand. So, that's. Make the I think that's like the, the main. Uh, the main reason to play this deck is how good it is against the Lee Sin decks. Lots of Lee Sin around, and I think this deck is pretty awesome against Lee Sin. Alright, another Twisted Fate deck. This one with Targon, so this is probably going to be like a turbo Twisted Fate, leveling up Twisted Fate quickly. So I'm going to mulligan an onlooker basically because of the whole one health thing not being great against Twisted Fate. We need to keep one because we need to have something to play right away with the attack token. Alright, well, we got that with Precious Pet. If we can win this one and go three and two playing against four Twisted Fate decks, um, that would be pretty good. Because I, I think that that's probably that's one of the best cards against us in the format. So this, this could be pretty good if we can win this. So attack for five. 
or play Arachnoid Horror and St Stygian Onlooker. The problem with playing these would probably be Petty Officer. That would probably be the biggest punishment for going Horror plus Onlooker. I think I'll just go to Attacks. All right, well then that, that would have been really good to play the Arachnoid Horror. Uh, to play that and, and Stygian Onlooker for sure. Yes, I should have played those two. Winner is you. All right, so a slot bot. I like our chances in this game right now. Stalking Shadows is pretty big. Never lost a fair game or played one. So main question, do I want to fervor Twisted Fate, or should I just be going upstairs? Uh, alternatively, we can also not play Noxion Fervor right now. Kind of want to fervor that Twisted Fate. Twi the thing is, is Twisted Fate isn't really that good of a blocker, though. Um. But it does seem like their, their deck's just completely built around drawing a whole bunch of cards, and so definitely built around leveling up Twisted Fate. So if I don't kill Twisted Fate, then winning a late game will be quite tough. But if I kill the Twisted Fate, maybe we have a better chance at winning a late game. Searching for some winners. All right, just gonna... <laughs> this is risky against another Twisted Fate, of course, but I'm gonna just try to get as much damage out right here. This play though makes you know makes it seem like I should have just gone with the damage upstairs. Alright, down to seven. Love to see like Doom Beast. That's probably, that's probably the best card for us to hit is Doom Beast. My main thing is I don't think that there's enough incentive. That there's probably not enough incentive to... Oh uh, man, I don't like seeing that star shaping. There may not be enough incentive to fully continue to, to grind the game a ton without too much of a competitive scene. Is Doombie still the best thing to get? Probably. Spin, spin, spin. You win. Um. Come on, give it a try. I hope they don't have another Twisted Fate. Deal me in. I don't know what was like my best play against another Twisted Fate. It was probably Demolitionist on one of the 1-1s. One that was probably my best play against another Twisted Fate. Explosives primed. But then if I go Demolitionist on one of the 1-1s, one oh, yeah. they just have like a little bit of removal for it. I don't know, it's a tough call. Can't leave until you win. Bask in her radiant blessing. I don't know. I don't really like playing any of these things right now. I think I'm just going to wait. I like that card. Because that turns on my Nightfall. I didn't really want to play either of these first. So I could Sentry Stun that Lifesteal. And then what? Stun this turn and stun next turn. Descend. 
descend upon them. Remember the objectives. It's gonna be close. We have a lot of Nexus healing. Okay, never mind. It was gonna be close. Not anymore. For the glory of Noxus. It was gonna be close. The Twisted Fate red cards, though, just demolish me. Um, Twisted Fate, yeah, like, our deck's just <laughs> kind of poor against Twisted Fate, and we saw, we saw that play out um, in these games. With four of our five games being against Twisted Fate, and, and Twisted Fate being pretty devastating in, in them. Never lost a fair game. All right, Who fine. Says I don't? All right, so we ended up going two and three this time with Spider Aggro. Um, yeah, that's that's a big weakness, Twisted Fate. That card is good. I have said for for weeks now that Twisted Fate is the very best champion in the game. Uh, I I do I do think that I think it's. It's just the very best individual champion currently in the game. And, of course, that that's like a title that's, you know, gone back and forth. Like, sometimes it's been, like, Ezreal or Heimerdinger or Sejuani. Um, right now, I, I do think it's Twisted Fate. Uh, but I think... All right, so I think this is... I think this deck's pretty good against non-Twisted uh, Fate decks. <laughs> even, even, like... So, you may think, okay, well, lots of people play Bilgewater. We don't want to... You know, why would you want to play a deck that's not good against Bilgewater? It's basically just the Twisted Fate versions, because I think that we're pretty favored against the Pirate Burn, which is which is usually the most popular version of Bilgewater, like Bilgewater Noxus with Misfortune and Gangplank. I like I like our deck in that matchup because I think we can kind of go underneath them, honestly. Uh, so I, I like this deck in that matchup, but Twisted Fate with those red cards. That's devastating because like we can go like wider, like wide pretty fast against the Bilgewater Noxus. They don't have any healing, um, and then you know we can finish the games out with our with our burn spells and Doom Beasts. Um, Doom, you know that's a, a big reason to play Doom Beasts is that Misfortune Gangplank matchup. But Twisted Fate just kind of changes everything because Red Card is Red Card's just devastating. If you have a, a Powder Keg to go along with Red Card, um, you're just just dead. And that's that's really what we saw with those games is the red cards devastating. So we did play against Twisted Fate four times. We did win one of the four. The other one was a Lee Sin. And that's the thing. It, it's like Lee Sin matchups are going to be incredibly, incredibly high win rate with this deck. So like you're still good against like the like maybe the main version of Bilgewater with the Misfortune uh, version, Misfortune Gangplank. Um, but um, and. Uh, you know, real, real great against Lee Sin, but the, probably the biggest problem is a Twisted Fate deck. And in particular, we saw with the second game that we played, that's not a that's not a deck that you see that often, right? Like I haven't seen that deck probably for the last month. I don't think I've I don't think I've played against that deck a single time in the last month. The the Powder Keg Control with uh, Twisted Fate and Shadow Isles. But that matchup, you're never gonna win. <laughs> if, if if you play against that, you're never gonna win. But it's it's not a very popular deck, you know. It's probably like 02 percent of the meta game. <laughs> but unfortunately, we got paired against it. Really don't love. The, I I really like the unspeakable horror. It you know like drain you know hits the nexus, so that's important. And a lot of the nightfall cards that we're creating are very valuable here. You know, like we're creating more doom beasts and stygian onlookers and things like that. All right, but there we go. Uh, there's Spider Aggro. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of, of uh, the deck, any of the um, conclusions I was coming to, anything like that. Feel free to leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.